students welcome you all to the video lecture on control systems engineering today we are going to determine the stability of the system using root array so given is a characteristic equation that is s power 4 plus 8 sq plus 18 s square plus 16 s plus 5 equal to 0 so in order to find out the stability first we need to see the first term of s so here This term is s power 4 that is 4 is nothing but the order of the system. So the order of this system is nothing but 4 which is a even number. So we have to start with the even number of even power of s in each and every element of the first row. That is since it is s power 4 let me start with s power 4. Okay. And we need to consider only the even power of S terms. And what are all the even power of S terms? Those coefficients we have to write in the first row. For example, this is S power 4. And then the next even power of S is S square. And then S power 0. That is constant term is nothing but S power 0. So this term. So the coefficients of these terms we have to write in the first row. So the coefficient of s power 4 is 1 that you can write in the first row and then s power 2 is nothing but 18 that you can write as a second element in the first row and then the third element in the first row is 5. So once you have done that first row is completed in the root array then so once you have considered the s power 4 definitely the next row it is s power 3 that is we have to reduce the power of s and we have to write then s power 2 and then s power 1 and then s power 0 like this we have to write the terms and s power 3 for this what are all the remaining elements which is there in the characteristic equation that is odd power of s terms right those coefficients we have to write in the second row so what are all the remaining elements we have s power 3 and then s power 1 those terms coefficients we have to write in the second row. So here it is 8 and then followed by 16. So once you have written that we can find out the elements in the other 3 rows. Okay. So how to determine the elements of the other 3 rows. So we need to find out the element here. So if you want to find out the element here we have to use this particular two elements as well as this two elements as a matrix we have to consider and we have to find out the term here okay that is we need to find out the s power 2 term what are all the things we have we have to consider these four terms that is 1 and 18 and 8 and 16 so how we have to consider is we have to cross that is we have to multiply these two terms diagonal elements here these two we have to multiply and then these two we have to multiply subtract this term from this diagonal element and then finally divide by this term that is we have to consider this term like this 1 18 and then 8 and then 16 like this we have to consider first we need to multiply these two element so that is 8 into 18 and then minus then we have to multiply these two elements 1 into 16 then the whole term divided by always this second element in this particular column right that is 8 so which is nothing but use your calculator and determine the value so use your calculator parallelly we have 8 into 18 as 144 and then 1 into 16 is 16 144 minus 16 is 128 and then divide that value by 8. So, you will be getting 16 as the answer for first term in the S square. That is this term is 16. Then once you have determined that, we have to determine whether you have any value here. Okay. So, for that again in order to find out this value. Okay. So, we have to leave this particular column. Okay. And always for example, in order to determine the second column element, we have to consider the first column element and then the third column element. So, we need to leave this particular column. 
okay so we need to leave this particular column okay so other elements we have to consider that is the first column element as well as the third column element we have to consider in order to determine this value okay that is I need to consider 1 8 and then 5 here there is no term so it is nothing but 0 so if it is so again I have to multiply this and this 8 into 5 minus 1 into 0 is 0 divided by the whole divided by 8 okay so 40 40 divided by that is 8 and 8 get cancelled you will be getting 5 so this value is nothing but 5 and uh, in our uh, here you do not have any element why because the next column elements are 0 okay so once you have done that we have to find out the element here so here again we need to consider the previous four elements okay in order to find out the element here we need to consider the this four elements okay so in order to find out s power 1 i need to consider 8 16 and then 16 and then 5 so multiply this and this this and this divided by 16 so 8 in uh, 16 into 16 minus 8 into 5 divided by 16 so use a calculator 16 into 16 is 256 minus 8 into 5 is 40 which is nothing but 216 divided by 16 okay so the value is 13.5 So use that value here as 13.5. So once you have done that I need to find out the value here ok. But anyway in order to find out this value I should leave this particular column ok. I should consider this two elements and this two elements ok. Anyway here these two elements are zeros ok. So I do not get any value here it is going to be 0. So I can move to the next row. So for this row again I need to consider this particular 4 values ok. So this particular 4 values I need to consider not to determine s power 0 ok. So if it is so for s power 0 16 5 13.5 and then here it is 0. So multiply this and this value. So 13.5 into 5 minus anyway 16 into 0 is 0 divided by 13.5 anyway 13.5 13.5 get cancelled I will be getting 5 ok. So once you have done that once you have completed the root array ok. So like this once you have completed I can determine the stability of the system. So the stability is going to be determined by seeing the first column elements ok. So in this first column elements if all the elements are positive ok then I can simply say the system is said to be stable ok. So all the elements in the first column if it is positive ok then I can say that all the poles ok are going to lie in the left half of S plane therefore the system is said to be stable ok. So what I can conclude? first column elements first column elements are positive ok so therefore all the poles lie on the left half of S plane ok left half of S plane so when all the poles lie on the left half of S plane I can say that the system is said to be stable ok. Suppose in the first column elements if any of the element is negative ok then the system is said to be a unstable one ok. Thank you. Thanks for watching.